enhance our animals experience being here if it, because if you think about our snow leopards and our tigers, for example, those are probably the easiest ones to think about. We're changing them from a very old existing complex, the cat complex, uh, where that was built decades ago, and they're going into a much more naturalistic environment. Uh, so they'll have running water to get to play in, they'll be out in the sun, um, every single day they'll have a lot more space. It allows us to move some of the animals like tigers and snow leopards out of areas that were fine for their time but we know more, more about them now and so we know we can do better for them and so they're going to have incredibly uh, nice spaces here uh, to roam in and spend their lives in. And then we're bringing in species that we haven't had here before that will have very naturalistic areas to uh, to experience. Rare things like red pandas and takin and goral and white-naped crane to mention a few. Opening something like Asia Highlands is is unique because we open it and we want our guests to come and experience the exhibit in its grandiosity and that's what we're excited about but it takes a tremendous amount of planning and so that takes actually years and so we've actually been able to bring in some of those species already some of them are actually living at our wildlife safari park out in Ashland. It's 400 acres but a hundred acres of that is reserved for us being able to work with some species uh, that we need to work on the husbandry some more to really try and understand them before we put them on exhibit and so we were able to acquire the Takin and the Goral early. We've never worked with the species before, and so it gives us a great opportunity to build some expertise up uh, with those particular animals. And so in this case, we're gonna have them for upwards of two years before they go on exhibit. There's two really unique species, and one of them is the Pierre David's deer, and they have a really incredible story. Um, they're extinct in the wild and that is why they're only still alive today because of managed breeding programs such as what we do here. We never want to have to put animals back into the wild, but uh, at some point we have to do that. We have to step in and that is what they're doing with the uh, Pierre David Steer. When you say talking, most people say what? And um, they're really cool. And I like them because not many people know much about them. They're from the Chinese Himalaya mountains up at that tree line level. They are, males can be 800 pounds, which is the size of a plain zebra in Africa. Um, they have a snout like a dairy cow. They have horns like a wildebeest. They have long blonde hair, and they love to stand up on their hind legs, and they look just like a polar bear almost, and they're really smart. Uh, and so uh, figuring out ways to keep them and keep them enriched is challenging, but those are challenges that we love. Our donors are critical for all of our new exhibits and particularly for Asia because without them, we can't create these fabulous new exhibits. We also can't connect as well people to those animals and to those environments. And that's what we're really trying to do is, is connect people to that area in Asia and those really, really neat species that live in Asia. And it's because of our donors that we can actually accomplish that. And that's part of our mission here at the zoo.